I'm just about to ink some more pages. I am so fucking hungry. I want chicken strips so fucking bad. Like, do you guys ever have those moments where you're like, fuck, I just want chicken strips. It's like that, except all day. <laughs> so I'll probably get some chicken strips today. If I do, I'll film it. I just, I just, I want them. I want them. I know I'm, I'm gonna get fat, but they beckon to me. With some steak fries, hell yeah. I'm gonna take some Advil's cause I am so, my head hurts so bad. Um, yeah, one thing I keep thinking about, you can see I printed out uh, some purgatory pages. I actually was using Copic marker on this. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, one thing I keep thinking about, which is horrible, and I know I shouldn't, but I keep thinking about it, is inking traditionally. Because um, I really liked inking traditionally when I had the printer, the big printer, to print out the lines and then print it and then ink it big and and all that stuff. I keep thinking about that for Paranormal Plague, is so I could print it out. I would have like the, um, you know, the speech balloons and all that already inked out, um, ready to go. And then I could just, um, you know, so I wouldn't have to do the lettering traditionally or the, uh, the, you know, borders. I would just ink the people and, um, I could also do the grays traditionally because I was seeing how that would look. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, I Keep in mind, I only have one gray marker, so I'm kind of just like, you know, if I bought other gray markers. Just because, like, you'd think that this line art would be cr crazy small based off of, like, the file. But when you, like, actually print it out, it's just like my old line art thickness, almost. It's a little thinner, like, on the details. But, like, that is this thick line work. And I guess I'm just kind of like, wow. It's not... It's not that, like, hard. And I think with digital, I tend to... I don't know. I'm crazy. I keep going back and forth. The only way that I would like doing it is if I could, like, print it out um, and do it. Um, I might buy more grays and just see how it goes. Obviously, these types of grays... This is a warm gray, so um, when I scan it, I would have to make it black and white, and it would look a little different. Um, I kind of like the the brown looking gray but like in the actual file it'll be like a, a literal gray but I don't know I'm kind of I don't know how I feel it's hard because I've done traditional art for so long and I kind of just feel weird about inking digitally I really like sketching digitally but inking digitally it fucks with me a lot and I don't know Maybe if I started inking traditionally again, I would know how big everything is? I don't know how to explain this, but like this, my sense of scale gets really fucked with digital art. I don't know, maybe I'm just being annoying, who knows. I keep printing shit out and coloring it with gray. It obviously doesn't work on some pages, although I bet I could make it work. Um, one of the things I'm thinking about is maybe I don't buy a big expensive printer because I have no intention of ever actually using it to sell things, so I'm not buying a three hundred print a three hundred dollar printer just to like make comics. But what I could do is I could ink it like digitally or traditionally, it doesn't fucking matter actually. Um and then print it out and then do the grays on a separate sheet of paper because one of the things I don't like doing is the grays it's like one of my least favorite things to do um, so I could just do the grays traditionally scan it and then have that be the final artwork and I could also because um, when I was inking this like when I was putting the colors on this it's actually easier to add like tinier details like with a pen I don't know man like I'm just trying to think like because I was also thinking, like, for Paranormal Plague, I might actually change it to, like, a different ratio. Because I have it in the American Standard comic size, and I'm just sort of like, you know what, I'm kind of used to this size. I could just ink per uh, Paranormal Plague in the size that I'm used to. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm just thinking. 
I'm getting some new comic stuff today, so I'm going to ink with that later today and see how I feel. It really doesn't matter. Um, but what I'm thinking for Purgatory is because I'm like doing all these pages, I can just print them out and do the grays. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. I know it's really annoying that you guys watch me and you're like, Holly has her shit together. And I'm like, I think I'm just going to change everything that I do all the time. And uh, you guys watch this hellfire that is my life. <laughs> Sorry. Because if I change the aspect ratio to Paranormal Plague, it won't even have to make it smaller necessarily. It'll just make it like a different ratio. It'll be less tall. It'll be more fat. Um, it'll mean that I could ink it just on this sheet of paper, like an 8.5 by 11. And um, I could ink it like almost to size. Um, so it would be like slightly smaller. Um, with Purgatory, it's a lot smaller when it's actually printed, so the detail looks better, but, like, whatever. I still, th I would say this is still pretty, pretty nice if it was at this size. Like, Paranormal Plague wouldn't suffer if it was, like, this size. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking, like, maybe if I just did it on, like, letter sheets of paper, I could still be able to do it traditionally and, like, not have to worry about, like, money with it, because it's just... It's just 11 by, I mean, it's just 8.5 by 11, you know? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I just do that? I could. Um, for Purgatory, I'm going to finish it off digitally, but I could do the grays this way, because it's like, oh, I'd have to do is print it out and then just scan it back in and have it all be consistent. I don't know. I could keep the half tones. I'm just trying to decide what I want to do. Um, that would mean I'd need to buy a couple more gray markers. Um, but then on Instagram, this is so stupid, I swear to fucking god, the things I do for fucking social media, I could, like, post a page on Instagram, and it would literally be the page. Like, that's the page that gets posted. So you see, like, the full inked page, and it's, I don't know, I just think that would be kind of cool, because then you guys would actually see the artwork, and it's the final thing, the lettering's all on there, you know? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm just being crazy and I should just like still keep with tradition, I mean digital. And like keep the same size for Paranormal Play because that's what I planned for. I just get in these modes where all I want to do is traditional art and then I get in the moods where all I want to do is digital art and it really fucks with me hardcore. And I don't know, maybe I just need to like chill out. I think what I could do is just do like like, a small project where I do traditional art to, like, hold me off, and then for my main projects, do digital art. Although, I have to say, if I just printed it out and did the grays, that's not a big deal. I could still do that. Like, it's not a... It, that would not cost hardly anything, and it wouldn't really negate anything. Um, and I could still do, like, the final details a little bit traditional, like adding snow or things like that. Um, that's not a big deal. Um... But, I don't know, maybe I should just fucking stop being a crazy, stop being a crazy bitch and just fucking, just fucking make the thing. I don't know. I don't fucking know. You guys have no idea how much this annoys the shit out of me because, like, I love digital art. I love traditional art. But I love them in different ways and it just really fucks with me every single day. I think I'm just freaking out because I decided to print it out and I realized that the line works not that as thin as I thought it was. Um, which, like, I don't want it microscopically thin. I think I'm just, now that I know that I could get the level of detail that I like traditionally, it, like, makes me think about stuff. But I'm also kind of like, you know what? There's no reason for me to do traditional God, I hate myself sometimes. You guys have no idea. Like, I guess if you're artists, you don't know how much this fucks with me. It fucks with me so much. But, like, I know my art looks really good when it's digital. I just hate... <laughs> I hate my life. Ah! It's just so annoying because the sense of scale is really hard for me. So some pages, or, like, some drawings, I feel like the line works too thin. Other times it's too thick. But if I was drawing it where I didn't zoom in to ink it, I would know exactly how thick I need to do it. But the problem with that is that the zooming in makes it look nice. So, like, what the fuck? Ugh. Fuck my life. Y you guys, do you feel me on this one? I think I'm not gonna, like, get any kind of printer or do this, but 
I mean, I'll like ink drawings every now and again, but I really need to like, just realize, Holly, you do digital. You're a dirty digital bitch now. Fucking accept it. I don't even sell original art, so what's the point of fucking doing all this stuff that's really expensive? You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, <laughs> I never sell originals, so, so like, no. 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 I got the crap from jet pens. Hell yeah. I like took a ridiculously long nap because like I, uh, well, I guess it was a sleep, but um, I don't know. I probably was sleeping for like 12 hours cause I was really sad. And when I'm sad, I just sleep. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I, um, here's the stuff. And so you guys, hold on, let me turn this off so you guys can actually see the stuff. Um, so I've already got this earlier this week, but I figured I would show it in like the video when I'm talking. So the Copic marker for the sketch cards. I got this um, inking brush and I'm kind of disappointed with it because it looks cheap as heck. But maybe it's good. I don't know. It looks cheap. It feels cheap. I thought it was cooler on the Jet Pens website. This is a refill for this pen. This pen is very weird, I have to admit. Like the refill sticks out of the pen. I don't know. It, it inks well, but it's not waterproof ink, and it does that. Like, what the fuck is, you know, whatever. It'll work. I got one of these, which is, um, it's like a Fude pen. It's a Pentel Fude pen. And then a, a Uniball Signal. Um, and then, of course, my favorite ink of all time, High Carb. Uh, this is literally the best ink in the planet. Nobody can convince me otherwise. Like, they make the best ink, hands down. Um, but anyways, um... My mom went to Walmart, apparently, while I was asleep, and she knows I like these really useful boxes, like these tiny ones, because they fit in my, um... Ugh, you can see the fucking plates on the floor. Whenever I have extra food, I stick it on the floor so the dog can eat it, and, uh, I just have plates everywhere. Anyways, um, I, I, they can fit in the little drawers, so, like, she got me these, like, really useful boxes. I like the clear ones, because then you can see through it, and, um, I like it all to match, so... I don't really like the rainbow ones because then you can't really see through it sometimes. Um, but yes. Have you guys ever, like, had these boxes? These boxes make me want to, like, come. They're so fucking great. I can't, like, I know that's, like, a, being dramatic. But fucking, these boxes are the shits. They're, like, pretty much indestructible. They stack so well. I just, I fucking love these boxes, like, more than my life. I want the longer boxes, but for right now, the dollar boxes are, like, kind of the shit. Because I want to, like, get some stickers for packaging. Um, so I can stick, like, the uh, packaging stickers in one of these. Um, I'm really excited because, like, I have so many plans. And I have the organization to do it. Finally. Yay. Y'all had very differing opinions on the snow debacle, by the way. Um, Y'all were saying, like, uh, what was it? Some of you were saying, oh, you should make the snow even. And then an equal amount of people were like, oh, make sure the snow's uneven. And, like, some of you were like, oh, snow falls directly down. And then some people were like, oh, add direction to it. <laughs> Anytime I ask, okay, I gotta make sure it's like the right kind of hand. Um, anyways, um, anytime I ask people opinions on art stuff, it's always so funny because it's, um, it's almost 100% pointless because, uh, it's not like you get unanimous answers on anything when you ask art questions. It's just kind of funny, but, um, what I, I, I think I've come to the conclusion that I like kind of the uneven snow. I think it looks more like snow to me. Um, kind of like this where it's like, you know, like... And then you have some tiny snow and then, like, a bigger snow, you know? Um, instead of just, like, circles. Because that doesn't look very good. That doesn't look like real snow to me. A guy is being very respectful to the environment outside. With, um... With their McDonald's on the fucking ground. They're passed out in the vehicle. I don't know if you can tell. But, um... Yes, I'm glad that you're fucking midnight... McDonald's fest when you fucking plastered ended up on the ground. I swear, the amount of times that I have switched from digital to traditional, like, I don't even think that you can count it at this point. It's It's been like six times. It, well, 
you can't even count it's fucking six to it's been multiple times okay and like i don't know i feel like this time this final fucking time this last time that i'm doing this i swear to fuck i think i've finally figured it out my boys it's that i have the ability to draw small and i don't understand why i didn't know this till now um but Honestly, it solves all of my problems is because <laughs> literally for years I was like, oh my gosh, I hate fucking skin. Sorry, memory was full. Had to switch SD cards. Anyways, um, I've just gone back and fucking forth on this so many times. And I'm sure you guys are like really annoyed by it at this point. But it, okay, here's the rev revelation that I made. And I, I know it's bingo bongo, dumb bullshit. Holly, you're a fucking dunce. Okay. Here's Holly's relevation. Okay, my first issue, when I first started switching between, you know, fucking digital and traditional, my first problem was thinking that digital would solve all my problems, which was not the case. Um, my line work was really shitty, and I thought, like, oh, if I do digital art, it'll be not shitty. Nope. Um, like, part of that was, like, I used brush pens, which really weren't something that I'm great at. And, like, I don't think I'll ever be super great at them. I'm okay at this point. But, um, I used a lot of brush pens when I had no control of my hand. Um, secondly, I used a lot of really shitty paper back when I first did Purgatory. I don't know if you guys remember that. I used, like, really, really cheap cardstock. This is Bristol board. And I think if I'm going to start inking on anything, Bristol's kind of the way to go. I really like this Strathmore 300 series. It's not, like, super expensive, but it's, like, really nice for inking um, and using microns. So, yeah, those were the first two problems when I started switching back and forth. The second problems is the textures. I used to have this problem where I thought, like, oh, my God, I have to have the smoothest line art possible. So I'd use this brush called Smooth Criminal. Um, and it, and it was really, really smooth, but it didn't really feel like Holly's art anymore. Um, so then I switched to the pencil brush, which that was more recent. And it basically replicates traditional textures. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think I've realized through the years that I think I should just probably ink it traditionally. I can sketch it digitally, which I think is the best choice because I need to sketch it digitally to make it nice. Um, but, but, but... I don't know, I just feel like speed is not in my favor when it comes to inking digitally, and I kind of should think about that. And I just, I don't know, man, like, when it comes to the inking, I just, I just don't think, I, I don't know, man, this is so dumb, especially for, like, for Paranormal Plague, I could just do it like this, where I, like, fill in the grays like this, and, like, it's, the page will be done, and that's it, you know? I don't know. I hope this makes sense. I know it's so, so dumb that I keep going back and forth. Oh my fucking god. Just woke up. Um, I really haven't done much other than work on comics for like forever. So like there isn't really anything to talk about or do. I'm just like literally drawing comic pages. <laughs> like there's nothing. I really like this page that's coming up by the way. This is just the sketch, so I didn't, like, outline it completely because I don't care because it's, it's the sketch. Um, you can't even fucking see that. Oh my god. There. Um, yeah, that's, like, I don't do that many splash pages, so, or, like, full page spreads or whatever. It's not really a splash page. Splash page would imply that it's, like, doing something, but, um, yeah, I'm just, like, sort of frustrated. My brother gets out on the 22nd from rehab yeah uh, I'm sure that's totally gonna do stuff I don't know I, I highly doubt it's gonna be any effect sh any effect and I'm gonna have to deal with this ass from then on but the annoying thing is is like uh, he has to go downtown like where he is is like a facility and then they take him downtown to get like his stuff because I guess his stuff isn't because, like, when they arrest you, they take, like, your phone and all this crap. Which, like, this is completely annoying because he doesn't drive. So, like, and I don't drive. So I can't just pick him up. I have to pay for an Uber. And it's, like, 
since I'm doing this Kickstarter, I really haven't like worked on anything that makes me money in a month. And I don't really have that much money, so I'm going to have to pay for an Uber to take him from downtown to here, which is money I didn't account for whatsoever, because I don't fucking care about my brother, and I really just don't care. Like, so that's annoying. And then the San Japan table, which is like 200 bucks, so it's just like, ah! Because literally, like, I haven't really worked in a month so I'm trying to like scrounge like ah shit like didn't fucking I thought the table I could um uh put on uh like put put it off till I got the uh kickstarter money because like you know I'd still have profit from the kickstarter to pay for the table but it has but it's literally due on the 17th I don't know it's just like I'm just stressed out because like I don't know I should have planned things out a little better, and I didn't, and I'm stupid, and I hate myself for it. Um, so now I'm going to have to, like, fucking stress out and, like, I don't know, get money somehow <laughs> really quick. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot of money. It just has to be some money to to do it. I probably have it in, like, some accounts. I, I don't check check my PayPal that often. So I'm, there's probably fucking money in there. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's just, ugh, I fucking hate my brother. Yeah, on the 22nd, that's when my life's going to be ruined again. Um, so yay. Uh, I'm sure he's going to be fucking annoying and asking me for money within two days of his release. And I'm going to be like, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Even if I had it, you're not getting it. Get a job. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's really all there is. I haven't done shit um, other than this. So... Um, I did actually, hold on, let me actually turn a light on. You guys can't see anything hardly. First news is, is I replaced the, uh, standing lights. Um, so like, well, I didn't replace them. I replaced the bulbs in them. They're really hard to find bulbs, so I, I was, I spent like, I don't know, fucking an hour at Walmart comparing my light bulb to, like, other light bulbs. It's really complicated. I can't really explain why these light bulbs are different. It's like the end piece is really long, so you have to get like a very specific light bulb for these fuckers. So I replaced the lights finally, so now the lighting is good. Um, I moved this old cabinet into my room. This shouldn't be on the floor. Also notice my ridiculously large pack of Snicker bars. That's kind of like what I just eat during the day. I don't eat food hardly anymore, I don't know. It's just like... Um, this food's expensive, and I'm trying to, like, like, just fucking survive right now. Um, anyways, uh, I stuck it in this cabinet. This, this cabinet used to hold piano rolls. I have no idea if you guys know what piano rolls are. Um, piano rolls are for player pianos. So they're in, like, these really long boxes, and this thing held piano rolls. But we don't need piano rolls because our piano is fucking ruined, so, like, you know, uh... Another thing, you know, my family runs is, like, cool things like pianos. Uh, we have a player piano downstairs. It was, like, my grandma's. Anyways, um, but, yeah, I started doing these things with the Copic markers, um, which is why I think it would be cool to do Paranormal Plague like this. Um, so most of it could be traditional. Like, all of it could be. Because, like, here's the printout comparison. This is, like, purgatory when I do it digitally versus, like, the actual page of like a 9 by 12 and if you see that that's not really that much detail like I can do that like just traditionally I mean um yeah so I can just do that traditionally so I think I'm gonna do that from now on um I have it like all worked out like what the price will be for all the paper and stuff and I'm probably gonna just buy a big chunk of paper and uh do that for paranormal plague but um yeah here's the paranormal plague page I said that word paranormal plague uh, compared to this, it's, it's a little more detailed, but I, I can still do it. Um, but yeah, that was, that was the updates. Okay, bye. It's like 4 a.m., my hand hurts like a motherfucker, and I know it's because I've been inking all the time, and like, it hurts like right at the wrist, so I know it's because I like, need to stop drawing for today, so I think I might actually go to sleep and then like, in the morning, you know, try to be healthy because, like, the past few days I have not, and like, I think it's affecting me. So, tomorrow I will go for a walk, and I don't know, maybe I'll take you guys with me. 
but I'm going to go to uh, take a nap or take a sleepy.